Hi everyone. As you people are liking the informative read alouds, so I just thought of reading out something from the National Geographic Kids book. Okay? So this book is The Little Kids First Big Book of Space. It's written by Catherine D Hughes and illustrated by David A Agala. Let's read what is inside. I'm going to read one chapter of this. So the chapter which I have selected is Earth looking up from Earth. So it's about Earth. This is Earth planet. It says most of Earth is covered by oceans. Water bodies. The blue areas are water. So the blue which you see is all water. This is the moon. Earth is the fifth largest planet in the solar system. Earth is the third planet in the orbit around the sun. Earth spins at 1000 miles an hour. A planet is a big round object in space that orbits a star. Earth is your home. The sun is your star. Earth is always moving. As it orbits the sun, it also spins around like a top. When you spin around on your feet, you probably get dizzy, but you cannot feel Earth spin, and that's why you don't feel dizzy. During the day, it is light outside, and you can see the sun. As Earth spins, the place where you are on the planet turns away from the sun that is when it gets dark outside as earth keeps spinning you soon see the sun again it takes earth one day and one night 24 hours to complete all the way around when it is summer where you live your part of earth is tilted towards the sun when it is winter where you live your part of earth is tilted away from the sun a strong invisible force called gravity pulls everything on earth down gravity keeps you and all the things around you from floating up into the sky When you jump up from the ground gravity is what pulls you back down Can you jump up 5 times in a row to show that gravity works every time You can try this Earth is a special planet It is the only place we know of where there is life plants and animals including people The jaguar is one of the many kinds of animals that live on planet Earth. Oh, so we have ended this chapter and if you would like to read about the moon, let me know in the comment box. So I'll see you tomorrow with a new read aloud. Bye-bye.